Lexington City Council member Leslie Strawn wants to delete a line from the city's ethics code. The language has become a flashpoint with council members, especially when the city is considering business with Washington and Lee University and the Virginia Military Institute. Some members of the public are criticizing council members with financial or personal ties to WNL and VMI and the possible appearance of a conflict of interest. And so it can be interpreted very broadly, and in the past that has happened. Uh, to where it can even be used to bully people to encourage them not to participate. If the code were changed, council members would still need to abide by Virginia's laws about conflicts of interest. There is a $5,000 benefit threshold that officials may not exceed to vote or discuss an issue. Citizens have voiced their concerns about conflicts of interest because of the numerous city council connections to WNL. Council members Strawn, Sigler, Alley Good, Smith, and Betts are all spouses of WNL employees or graduated from the school. Sigler also works at VMI. Residents like Molly McClure worry both universities are encroaching on downtown Lexington. They are supposed to be stewards of the public trust. And trust, the public trust, is in fact the foundation the essence of ethical behavior. In most cases, these members would still have to recuse themselves from voting on business with colleges under the state code. Mayor Frank Freeman consulted a state resource for local officials and learned that it is uncommon for cities the size of Lexington to have the extra language about conflicts of interest. The perceived conflict of interest that we have language in ours is a uh, far more ambiguous and hard to interpret and far exceeds the standard set by the uh, state code. City officials believe the proposed change will help streamline the voting process for city council as well as other boards and commissions. City Council is holding a work session about the ethics code tonight at 6 at the Rockbridge County Administrative Offices. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Andrew Arnold.